So this week we're learning about JSON. It's pronounced JSON, and it's a library that, uh, or ultimately, it's a very simple format for displaying what can be pretty complex data. And we used to use XML for it, but XML is pretty heavy. It takes a parser that's pretty, takes a lot of memory. And JSON can be parsed directly in JavaScript on a browser. So there's a lot of great things about it. So I've created a project in IntelliJ here called Basic JSON. And we're going to create a program uh, from this. Now, the first thing that we needed to do was we've got to make sure that we um, have the libraries in um, IntelliJ. And you can do this a couple of ways. One you can do using uh, POM files. And the other is that you can do it by just directly coming in to this um, project structure, which is under file, and adding the three, ja I'm going to be using Jackson as our parser here, these three libraries or jar files. So I created a class a package and then a class under it called JSON example. And we're going to need to import those libraries. So it'll be com.fasterxml.jackson.databind.objectmapper. And then to get the exception handling, we go to fasterxml, Jackson, core, and then we're going to be using this JSON process exception. So these are the two that we'll use. So basically what we're going to do is, is create two static methods. One will take a JSON file in and will return an object. And the other one will take an object in and retain, return a JSON file. So I created a customer class here, which just has a name and a phone number. And it has getters and setters. And then I created a two string method that just returns in a nice format a string with the two variables. Pretty simple stuff. So we'll use those as we go. So the first, first um, uh, method that I'm going to create is the, the customer object to JSON method that will give us some JSON to work with. I'm using these as static because they don't really include any of their own state except just temporarily and then they and then they return it back. So we'll call this one customer to JSON. It's going to take our customer And then it's going to return a string down here at the end. So the first thing we use within uh, Jackson is called the object mapper. So we'll insta instantiate that. The object mapper, I'm going to call it mapper. That's pretty common when we're using this. Um, we'll just use the standard constructor here. I'm going to Put a instantiate or declare a string. We'll call it S. Oops, not sure where all that came from. And then in here, we're going to have uh, a method that's going to return a string. The string will actually be JSON as a string. But we'll use the mapper object, and it has its it has a variety of different um, methods that we can use. The one that we're looking at is actually this right value is string. And this is where we pass customer. Um, so you pass our method customer to JSON, a customer, 
And then we take that customer and we pass it to this right value to string method in the mapper. And it's going to convert that customer into a JSON string that ultimately will return right here. But there is something else we've got to take care of here, and that's we've got to handle an exception. So we will go try, and it's also, by the way, why I um, declared string up here rather than declaring it here, is so that it's not inside of the scope of the try. And we're going to catch this JSON process exception. I usually do something like this. System error print line uh, to string. And that is it. So again, this particular method takes a customer, converts it to a JSON string, and returns the string. All right, let's do the same thing. Uh, this time, the opposite. We'll call this one JSON to customer, and it'll return a string. And so we do, do the same thing. We need to instantiate the object mapper. Taking the standard constructor. The next thing that we need to do is we're going to actually customer. Let's call this cust. Ah, customer. Set it as null. Down here, we're actually going to return the customer. But in the middle, we need to do something that's very similar. In this case, customer equals mapper, and we're going to use this read value. There's a whole bunch of them if you look here. This particular one takes a string, and the string we're going to give it is um, s. And then we have to tell it what type to work with as far as converting to. And so what we just do there is we just put customer class like this because then that tells it what type to convert to convert the string to so just like the last one we'll put our try in here and our catch same catch same as this and same to string. All right, so we've got these two static methods. One converts from customer to JSON, one converts from JSON to customer. Now let's write a little main, a little tester to test this out. So we'll start with the top one. Let's start by, um, Yeah, that's a little trick, by the way, in IntelliJ. PSVM gives you a main, gives you a public static vein. Void main. Okay, we're going to start with a customer. Create it new. We could have created a... We could have defined a um, specific constructor for our customer, but we didn't. I'm keeping it as simple here. We're going to set the name. Set the phone. Then let's uh, define a string. We'll call it JSON. And that's going to be equal to calling this method. Now, if you remember, we with a static, we call the class name and then the method. Customer to JSON. We pass it. Cust as a parameter. That's going to return us a string. And we'll just put the JSON directly into the string here. Now, 
That gets us JSON. Now we're going to use the second method and take the JSON that was produced in the first one and pass it to the second one. So this time we want a customer. We'll call this cust2. This one's equal to JSON, oh, yeah, JSON example dot JSON to customer. And in this case, we're going to pass it that JSON that came out of the first one. System out print line. And here we'll just pass it cust2. Now, because I have a two string defined with my customer here, it will actually, if I just pass to print uh, to print line here, this the object or the yeah, in this case the object, it's going to format it and it's going to automatically call this two string. It's just a little polymorphism at work. All right, so I think we've got our program here. Let's run it and see what we get from a results standpoint. Okay, so this line is what our JSON looks like that we converted. Remember we set cust customer with these parameters. And then we took that JSON and we put it back through and we ended up with a customer object again. And then we just printed that customer object. So we were able to do both. So again, this is a really simple illustration of how to use JSON and the amazing power. I mean, we could take that string that we create and we could write it to a file or we could use HTTP and we could send it across to a servlet or to something else that's listening on the other side. We could send it to, we could um, have a um, HTML page that makes a call to our um, object here and gets JSON itself. So there's just so many different things that we can do with JSON, and I hope that this, this short little video will help you to better understand that.